Hello traders, it's Samurai Trader here. Welcome to this session, the day traders $2,000 a day blueprint. Now the purpose of this video is to give you an overview of how I recommend you put together your trading plan. And I believe it's absolutely essential that a day trader has a daily, weekly, monthly target. And we're going to be talking about how to achieve those targets and on what basis to base your targets on. So we're going to be covering a number of topics in this video. So I'll go through how we set our income targets and how to use our compound calculator. We'll briefly discuss which market or markets should you trade. And we'll look at another spreadsheet called the account size and margin spreadsheet. We'll talk about then to achieve our daily goals, how many trades realistically will we need to execute? And so we'll briefly discuss that. Briefly discuss trading plans and I've got some sample trading plans in the members area which I'll refer you to and which are the best strategies to trade. And I think for my members watching this video, you know which are the best ones, the 34B and the 2B. So let me just bring up the disclaimer. Traders, we do know that there is a risk in trading. Do not trade with money that you can't afford to lose. Most importantly, start on the simulator. And that's a wonderful thing with most trading platforms now, you can trade on the simulator as long as you like until you master the setups. And even then, I recommend you start trading using micro accounts. That is start small and then go large. Make any mistakes you're going to make on a small account on a micro account. And we'll discuss that and I'll show you that uh, and give you a couple of ideas, I should say, when we get there. Now, here are key five key rules of a game. We never ever risk any more than 2% of our capital. In fact, as our account grows, we want to lower our risk. And this is one of the greatest challenges that traders have, they start trading undercapitalized. We trend trade only until we are consistently profitable. You must resist the temptation of counter trend trading. Yes, you can make a lot of money counter trend trading. However, it's a much higher risk trade. We also must limit the number of setups or strategies that we trade initially to a maximum of two. And we'll talk more about that as we get closer there. And as you'll see, I've got a whole basket of different strategies. But once you own those two, you may choose to then add another, then another. Critical is discipline, patience and focus. That is the foundation of our trading. And last of all, you've got to become a student of the markets. That is, you've got to be committed. You can't merely be interested in trading because if you're interested, you'll only do what perhaps you feel comfortable with doing. If you're committed, you'll do whatever is necessary. And that's absolutely essential with trading. First of all, I want to talk about setting some targets, some income goals and targets. And as the late Earl Nightingale said, people with goals succeed because they know where you're going. Now, it's absolutely essential there that you put your targets and goals in writing. And it's now proven that you're seven times more likely to achieve a goal if it's in writing and if you monitor that goal. Now, what am I about to go through with you? Unfortunately for some traders that have perhaps attempted to trade in the past where it hasn't worked out for them in the past, or perhaps you're a bit of a doubting Thomas at the moment. When it comes to effective goal setting, what is really important is that you ask yourself, what would you attempt to do if you knew you could not fail? Because I'm gonna be showing you some strategies if you follow the rules you're not going to fail. But that's the thing, you've got to follow the rules. But the first step is to develop a belief that yes, you can do this. Now, what's also very important, and I love this quote from Tony Robbins, people are not lazy, they just have impotent goals. That is, goals that don't inspire them. And you've probably heard that the, the quote before that, when your why is big enough, the how will appear. And what I say to traders, whether you be trading stocks, 
futures or forex, get rich slowly. That's the way to build wealth in this business. You've got to give yourself some time to get there. So let me ask you for a moment. Would $1,000 a day, 5,000 a week change your life? Of course it would. And that's a game changer for 95% of a population. This is a true potential, the true realistic potential as I will show you. So how would we get there? Well, say if you're trading futures or maybe Forex and you're trading 10 lots or 10 contracts, well, that's $100 a day. And once again, we'll discuss how we get there shortly. If you're trading five contracts, uh, that is you then can have a lower capital base, $200 a day. Now, what about, that's $1,000 a day to achieve that. What about 10,000 a week? Well, what we can then do is either increase the income the our daily target or trade more contracts. Traders, this is a true possibility of trading. Now, I'll go through the spreadsheet with you and I'll show you how to use this spreadsheet in a moment. But what I wanna show you here is that, so if you have $4,000 of capital and you go for $100 a day, what this spreadsheet shows you is that on $100 a day, you're trading one contract and once you double your money, that is once you have $8,000, you now start trading two lots. Once you get to 12,000, you now start trading three. So what you're actually doing here is using the market's money to build your wealth. Now, there are all sorts of spreadsheets I see out there where you're compounding rapidly using the market's money on full margin. This is about building your account realistically and conservatively. Now, that's on $100 a day. We can see that we're within uh, 30 weeks. We have a potential of earning 10,000 a week within 30 weeks by only earning $100 a day. Now, what if it's 150 a day? So that's 10,000 a week within 18 weeks. If we now up it to 200 a day, which is extremely realistic if you're committing two to three hours a day, that's really realistic, okay? You're there within 12 weeks. Now, all you need to do to achieve that is three scalps a day. That is say on the ES where it's $12.50, what we call a tick, or per price movement, that is three $75 trades a day, and we are there after commissions, and that's net. And by the way, this is something I'm going to show you, which most educators, can I call them, or maybe even non-traders don't want you to see, how many trades a day based upon your win-loss ratio do you need to actually execute each day to achieve this? Well, I've got a little spreadsheet that'll show you that exact thing. Now on the black gold, on the Texas T, uh, that's three eight tick trades a day, that's three $80 trades a day. Now I would call this, it's almost scalping, it's pretty close to scalping the market because we're not holding overnight positions. So we're day trading and scalping. Now, what is very important here is the safest way for, the, for us to do this is to find setups that are in harmony with the higher time frame. That is, we're trading with the trend. Now, this PowerPoint and the handouts that I refer to, and I should have mentioned this, and I don't think I did at the start, uh, you will find these on my Google Drive in the members area. Okay, so if you're a member, all of the handouts, including this PowerPoint, you can actually download from the members area. Now, let's be extremely conservative. What if you're a brand new trader, or unfortunately, you've blown your accounts in the past, uh, or you've got a large account, but you're gonna follow my advice and start small and build your account. Now, everything that I'm showing you here the only real reason you're not going to achieve it is the story you keep telling yourself. Because as you're about to see, starting with only $10 a day and $600, you can build a great deal of wealth. Now, unfortunately, in the society that we live in today, so many people want it 
overnight. They want it now. But if you approach day trading as a business, as a profession, I'm about to show you that you've really got a financial income for life. So let's look at this. Now, first of all, your, in, your income target may be nowhere near 10,000 a week. It may be a great deal more than $10,000 a week. So whatever target I talk about here, in the end, relate it back to what your target is because the spreadsheets that I'm gifting you will do all of this as you'll see when I show you how to use them. So let's just say here you decide, or at least initially, maybe for your first couple of months, you can always then ratchet up a lot quicker once you develop the confidence and the competence with the trading. So let's chunk it down. So what if you start with a minimum account of $600 and you can do that trading the micro ES and I'll show you that very soon. And you have a daily target of $20 a day. Now that's another thing that um, with our process calculator I say to members is that at times when you're talking about achieving 2,000 a day, 4,000 a day, or whatever it may be, the dollar figure, or when we talk money, it can sometimes um, hold a trader back. But if you point, if you talk about points or ticks, for an example, on the micro ES for $20 a day, that's 16 ticks a day, or 16 increments a day. So when you talk all of a sudden, okay, I've just got to go for 16 ticks a day, it can change the way you look at it. Or if you're trading the big contract, that would be 16 ticks a day, okay, which is 200 a day. And so that's another approach we can take with it. Now, our objective here is to earn our stripes, build our confidence, our skills, our self-belief, and at the same time, increasing our trading account from $600 up to $6,000. Now, when we get to the spreadsheet, you'll see that the spreadsheet will show that you could be trading up to 100 micro lots. Well, you actually don't wanna be doing that because the commissions are higher. You start small, and once you build your account, you then have the opportunity to then go across and start trading a big contract and multiply from there. So you can move from trading the micros over to the ES. You might by the way, there are lots of other markets. You might go to gold, you might go to oil, you might go to the Russell, you might start trading more Forex contracts, etc. So on this basis, $20 a day, as you'll see, our $600 will grow from 600 to 6,000 in 18 weeks. Then we can move over. Now, if we then go from $20 a day, and then we move over to 6,000, um, uh, sorry, um, from, to 200, sorry, let me get this right. Then we move to trading the big contract. In total, that's taken us 36 weeks to get there to an income of 10,000 a week. That's right, $20 a day. That is the true potential. Unfortunately, so many people lack discipline and the commitment. And this gets back to what I said earlier. You've got to be committed because where you end up financially in 36 weeks from now all depends on the actions you start taking from now moving forward. Just $20 a day on the micro. So if we look at this spreadsheet, and once again, with the spreadsheet, when I show you how to use it in a moment, you can play around with this, but be realistic, okay? Um, uh, for an example, for a brand new trader, and when we get to the big contract spreadsheet in a moment, to be saying I want to be earning $200,000 uh, a week in, in a month's time. It's just not realistic. And what actually, you're setting false expectations. Be realistic. So here, $600, $20 a day uh, in 18 weeks, our account is nearly 7,000. Then rather than be trading 11 micros, now you may choose to stay with the micros. You can then go over and start trading the large contract. So once you flip over to the large contract, and remember, we're never risking any more than 2%, which is $120 per trade to achieve this, we're up to our potential of 10,000 a week, or as you can see, 100,000 a week.
in 33 weeks. So it comes down to what your target is. Now, what if uh, you really lack, say, time or confidence? Or what if you just want to start small? You see, you can always start small, hit that target, celebrate, and increase your targets over time. And so if, say, you're struggling with self-confidence, and I spend a great deal of time with my members uh, on the psychology of trading, and you know, the, the psychological damage that is done to traders when they've blown their accounts two or three times, or maybe if you're a very timid person, and this is not an insult here, but we've just got to face reality, okay? I'm here as your coach. So what we do, we start small and you build from there. Now, what if then you had a $600, $600 account and you were going for just eight ticks a day, which is $10? It'll take us there 35 weeks to get to our $6,000 account. However, what if you just wanted to trade part-time as a part-time income? Or mere I say, a hobby if say you're retired. This can be a great income. When we get to that stage here, you're on $500 a week income, additional cash flow. Now, once, a, once again, you may choose, once you get to $6,000, you may then choose to roll over to the big contract and within uh, uh, 44 weeks there, we've now up to our 10,000 a week or whatever target you may have. Now, if you started then with $10 a day, increase it when you roll over to the ES, you're there then in 79 weeks. Now, let's then say, okay, we take a month's holiday or we take a couple of two-week holidays in that time period. It's taken us 83 weeks, starting with $600, targeting only $10 a day net, that's after any commissions. And so in one year and eight months, in 20 months in total, we are set financially for life. This is the reality of trading if you approach it professionally and correctly. Greed is what kills traders. Undercapitalization is what kills traders. Start small and you build from there. So let me show you the spreadsheet. And this is our compound calculator. So how this works is this. With this input up here, and I'll show you the contract value or how much you need to be allowing for the individual futures or Forex markets you may consider. And you apply the same philosophy to if you'll say trading stocks, day trading stocks and other markets. The huge advantage that we've got when we're trading say futures uh, uh, or the Forex market or even if you specialize in one or two different stocks, is you get to know the personality of that market. And it makes it so much easier for that to trade that market. Now, for an example, right now we are live and I'm looking at right here, which you'll see that, and we'll talk more about perhaps this market or we'll look at other markets here. This is the 6A, which is the Australian dollar um, currency futures contract. Now that there is a 34B, 34B, that's a 2B and that's a 2B. Uh, that's a 34B there. Now this is like, oh, there's a 2B right now as well. Now these are all mechanical rules-based trades. And that, by the way, is over the last hour, you would have hit your whole day's profit in the last hour. Now this is during the Globex session, which is the after hours market. And let me just pull this up and quickly show you this. So I might just flick backwards and forwards and show you a couple of these things because I think it's important that you also start to develop, hang on, maybe there, you know, <laughs> this is true. I can really do this, okay? Now, uh, what I'll also do, let me just add the uh, super scalper here as well because what that will do is just uh, ident help identify the entries 
for you a little easier. See these white paint bars? See those there? Now they don't plot until the third candle, which would be your entry signal on some of these. Now the further you move out from our major EMAs, the more likely you are um, to, it's good for scalping, but you're not gonna get the large moves. And that's why I mentioned the 34Bs and the 2Bs uh, will always give you the larger moves. And see that blue arrow just there, and see that blue arrow? That's what we call the T20, we get beautiful moves. And so, oh, and there's another 2B there. These are rules-based strategies that you wanna be trading which will really get you on the road to achieving your goals. Now, let's look at the spreadsheet. Once again, we'll get back to that. Uh, where are you? So realistically traders, if you're say going, and I think I've actually got to bring um, uh, this up as well. So what this will actually tell me here and tell you when it comes up, here we go, is that if we're gonna follow our 2% rule, and what that means is, we never ever risk um, any more than 2%. And even though a broker may tell you that there's great day trading margins, and they're typically only um, uh, $500 a day or $1,000, uh, which is substantially uh, less than what you really need. That is, if you look here, so if you're gonna trade the ES, which has got typically one and a half million contracts traded a day. It trades 23 hours a day. So the great thing is you get home from work, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and you can start trading after hours. Yes, you can. So you can trade, uh, you don't have as big a volume, but there's actually an advantage there. That is after hours, the market moves slower. And so therefore I don't need as much capital because when the market is really moving quite quickly, I need to have a larger account. Now, this is the minimum you would need that I recommend. Now, if you don't have $5,000 to trade the two tick chart, you start on the micros. And that's why I said, remember I said, start with 600? Here it shows you can start with 500. Uh, I always recommend to traders, allow a bit of a buffer. Okay, this is following the 2% rule. So every trade I take, I'm with my stop loss, I never risk more than 2%. Now I can show you all sorts of sexy figures where you risk 5% and you're earning millions of dollars in months. But traders, you're gonna blow your account. So we wanna start right from the outset, right? We wanna build the foundation right from day one. So what we're looking at with the spreadsheet I'm about to, to show you here is at, well, using what we call a two tick chart. And this is Renko. Now you can use tick charts, time-based charts, volume charts, it doesn't really matter. I refer to Renko and tick is what we mainly trade, but it, you apply the exact same methodologies I teach to any type of chart. But in this case, what it actually means here with an eight tick stop, which is $100, you need a $5,000 account. Now over here, what this means here, NT, depends on your broker. This is Ninja Trader. You don't need to keep the whole $5,000 with your broker, okay? You just keep, say, 60% with your broker and put $20,000 in your cash account. Now, what if you wanna trade the ES uh, um, with a, larger stop loss, because that means each candle or brick will be slower. Well, to stay within the 2% rule, you'd need 12 and a half thousand. You keep seven and a half with your broker, the rest in cash management. Now, you have to remember that the returns are all relevant to your investment. So in other words, if I've got say 12 and a half thousand I'm allowing, I'm probably gonna be earning the way we trade probably 600 a day uh, per contract. Now traders, that's nearly a 5% return per day. So don't look at this and say fruitcakes, $12,500. What you're gonna do is you're gonna trade according to the time frame you're comfortable with. Now, I, I think I should just show you this. This is very important when we really look at day trading here. Now, what I've got here, let's pull up the 
the, uh, where is it? I'll just see if I can pull up the ES. This might just take a minute because I'm just um, moving things around. So sometimes, here we go. Uh, no, let's see, where is it? Where's the, here it is. Uh, okay, well this is, uh, let me just go to a standard uh, Renko chart. Sorry, let me just quickly do that. That's called a hard chart, by the way. You'll hear me talk about hard charts, a complete trading system within itself. Uh, and let's just, uh, no, sorry, let me just get this right. So this is a bit <laughs> off track, but I think it's important you see this. Actually, let me just, um, where are we? Sorry, everyone, I'm just, let me, let me come on this one. And let me just remove that because that's not something you want. Oh, well actually I'll just show you on this one. This is oil, actually. This is um, the Texas tea, uh, uh, the oil. Look at you, see the white paint on there. That's a 2B, that's a 2B, that's a 2B, that's a 2B. Um, here, um, that's a classic divergence. See that there, that's what we call a 2B just there. You've had other trades on the way. Now each one of these step downs is worth um, $10. So you may remember, I showed you um, a spreadsheet there, it said three, eight tick trades a day. That's three eighty dollar trade a day. There's one, there's two, uh, there's almost one there. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Look, you've touched eight, but that, you, and, and we won't go into that, but would say that you only picked up maybe 20 or $30 per contract. You romped it in uh, just there. We pull back to this here and we're looking for this rollover. So there it is there. Uh, this is what we call an overshoot, but I'm digressing a bit. <laughs> Let me change to the ES, because this really is important here when we're looking at our goal setting, considering where we go. Okay, here we are. So just here, uh, oh, you, if you watch the video, uh, one of the secrets which is hardly ever spoken about, and most people are not taught how to trade, is um, for three important levels. You've got what we call pivots, the open, high, low and close. Uh, see that there, that's a pivot. Just see that red line, hard to see. This is the, uh, the prior day's close. And that hot pink, that's the prior day's low. Okay, and then I spoke about the magic EMA. See how we bounced? we bounced, see how we bounced, we bounced temporarily, but see how we bounced off the uh, off that one there, that was the uh, prior low, we bounced off the low, we bounced here off the close, uh, that is a 2B. Traders, when you understand these levels, it just makes day trading so much easier because you're looking for these points. But what I was about to say was, is you're looking for three six tick trades a day to hit 200 a day. Okay, that's before commissions. Now, now that's three $75 trades a day, which is, uh, what's that? That's 225, I think it comes to. Uh, less commissions, less rounded off at $5 each. So that's 210 a day. So each one of these steps is one, two, three, four. You see there, that's um, 10 steps there. That's $125 moves. That's about a $250 move. What I'm just showing you here is these moves are very, very realistic. Now see this one just there. That's a 2B there. What you've got to be careful of is when we sell into an area of support, which is your prior days low, see how we rallied along that before we finally broke that level. Now, the more often we go down and test it and look at the trend, we are more likely to break that level. Now, getting back to, and you may be thinking, well, how's that tie in with this calculator? Well, it fully ties in because remember I said to you and just showed you then, we go for $200 a day on say a $6,000 account. So what I'm actually doing there is rather than follow, well, we're following uh, this particular chart there, and this time of day, and you probably saw the time, this is during the Globex, the after hours market. Uh, ideally, we wanna be trading a two tick, eight tick stop, and that's your maximum stop, which is 5,000. On the spreadsheet here, I'm allowing 
6,000. So if you average three 2Bs a day, you have the potential after any losses and commissions there to be earning your 10,000 a week within 21 weeks. This is traders, the true potential of this. And what have I done down here? Let me just pull that across. Okay, so that's the true potential of this. So how do we actually then, and let me perhaps just change this a little bit, just make it a little smaller. Um, here we go. Let me just make this smaller so it all fits in. I wanna show you then how you would, I'm just gonna turn my office light on. Just one moment. So very simply, here you assume that you never risk any more than 2%. So on that spreadsheet I showed you, it's working on 2%, okay? So if you've got a 2% risk uh, and you're trading these sorts of timeframes and a maximum stop loss, you need $5,000, okay? Uh, allow a buffer. Now, what if you say decide to trade, um, let's just talk about here, the Euro futures contract. So there's actually a currency futures contract called the 6E. And for that, realistically, we need to have, if you're trading during the main market hours, you need to have there around $2,500 in your account. Now, I would say probably 90% of the time, you can actually get away with 2,000, 90% of the time. Okay, very similar to the Aussie dollar. Okay, um, so except the, the difference is with the yen and the euro, it's 625 a tick, and the, the Aussie dollar is only $5 a tick. And what, how that relates back to, it relates back to the account size. So if we go back to our spreadsheet and we say, okay, I only need two and a half thousand. What's a realistic uh, daily target? Let me once again, just make this a little larger for you. Just maybe just go to 130%. Just wanna make sure you can see this. So um, $200 a day, is that achievable? It would be if you really put the hours in, but let's just say 100 a day, which is extremely achievable on the two Bs. Uh, on most days, um, I would say within three hours when you know your stuff. This is not an earnings claim, I'm just showing you, and, and once again, you're going to look at the two Bs, how many there is a day. Now, and just, just one thing while I think of it, and I think I might have mentioned it before. The only thing that stops you achieving incredible success with the save of 34 Bs and a two Bs, is if you're trading, besides not following the rules, if you're trading a time frame that's too fast, okay, you've got to be trading a time frame that is reasonable. That is, the lower the time frame, the smaller the stop loss, which means a smaller account size. However, what that means is you've got what we call more noise in the market. You've got to be trading the right time frame. So that's what I'm showing you. So once again, I could fluff all of this up and make this look brilliant. But for many of you, you're either members already or you're becoming members. And so I don't wanna have you in my live trading room when you're saying, oh, Ray, you told me you could do this. That just doesn't happen. I'm showing you what is realistic. So based upon having a $2,500 account, earning $100 a day, I've got the potential of earning within 19 weeks, uh, 10,700 or 10,000 a week, let's just round it off there within that time period. My account size is now 6,000, uh, sorry, 61,000 and I'm trading 21 lots. Now, is that realistic? Absolutely, for this sort of market, okay? Now, uh, I will say that after hours or in very quiet times, if you use the market order, that is just hit market, you get what we call some slippage, okay? So, you know, Probably once you started to get up to, uh, let's just say around 50 contracts, okay, you might struggle getting ideal prices at that stage, but that's when you look at the ES and other markets. Now, let's look at then, assuming here that, yeah, so let's be conservative here and say, okay, I only wanna risk 1% of my capital. 
I'm really super conservative. And let's just say you're going to trade the ES here for a moment. So if we look at that, our spreadsheet here, down here at the ES2 tick where we had 5,000. That's based upon 2% risk. What if you're only going to risk 1% and also traders, as you build your account, say if you're trading with 100,000, I'd recommend then you lower your risk down to 1%. You are effectively your own funds manager. Okay, it also makes trading a lot easier. So what it does mean then, 10,000, and what if then we're still being really conservative, we're just going for 200 a day, okay? Now on that basis, with 10 grand, I'm up to my 10 grand a week and I've got 100,000 in my account, 116,000 in 29 weeks. I'm risking no more than 2%, sorry, my apologies, we're risking no more than 1%. And in fact, one of the spreadsheets that I have, um, and this is um, uh, for actual members, is this is put together by uh, one of my members who's larger trader. So here, account size of 300,000, and he's got it already built in. So for members watching this, if you go to the folder, you'll be able to uh, download this one. And so you can adjust that figure. So let's just say if you're trading with $500,000 uh, and you're trading two markets, now, naturally, you're not going to be trading micro accounts. You're going to be trading big contracts. It tells you then uh, how many lots you could be trading with that. Like, say if you're trading, let's just make that one market. So say if you choose to trade the ES, you've got 500,000. You're never risking any more than 1% on your account. And say here, if you're trading the four tick, uh, which means you're trading a high time. You can be trading around 30 lots, okay? Around 30 contracts. Now, of course, you're becoming very, very wealthy. Now, you apply that then to be trading CL, oil, or to gold. Uh, and down here, we've got, to, you can be applying the same to the currency futures markets. So we've got it pretty much covered here in this spreadsheet. Now, this is the reality of trading. Uh, now, getting back to, okay, what if you start trading, and let me just show you one more here. Uh, what if you start trading the micro NQ? Now the NQ, I used to call it the nasty NAS, I now call it the nifty NAS. I've reframed the meaning. It's a lot more volatile, okay? But you get some great moves. So if you're trading a 12 tick, which is, um, a happy medium, which is, uh, let's just allow a thousand dollars. And you can be trading this 23 hours a day. And we would need then $1,000 in our account. What's a realistic target? An extremely realistic target is $50 a day. Um, for someone that's really following the rules, $50 a day, I'm up to my 10 grand a week on 50 a day there within uh, 18 weeks potential. I've got to be careful just in case some people get carried away. I've got the disclaimer here and it comes down to experience and following the rules of taking every 2B, making sure you got the right time frame. Now, what if you said, okay, let's just make it $30 a day. Make it very conservative, okay? I'm there within 33 weeks or I'm earning 2,000 a week within 22 weeks. Now, as I mentioned here, see out here you're up to 100 micros. Well, by that time, you're once you get up to 10, you're switching over to the big contract. So what that means here, traders, is rather than $1,000, you're allowing $10,000 per NQ contract, the big contract, and you'd be targeting $300 a day on a $10,000 account. So on the ES, uh, uh, you'd say have $6,000 there and you're targeting your $200 or whatever target. What I tend to find with the young guns, they're the ones that have got, of course, huge plans for their trading. And so then if we looked at this here and and there are you know hundreds of traders around the world that of course are earning million dollar plus incomes. Now they're for minority. They know this stuff, they follow the rules. So on a $10,000 account, um, 
and realistic on 10,000 account. Well, let's just keep it 300, okay? You can see there that within 35 weeks, if you're reinvesting back in your business, you got the potential of 100,000 uh, a week. That is the potential there. Now, with that though, you've got a million dollar account, you would not be trading at a 2% at a risk. Uh, and that's what I would be recommending. My job's to keep you in the business. And as I say, there are old traders, there are bold traders, but there are no old bold traders, meaning uh, you've got to really look at this long term. So which are the right markets for you to trade? Now, there are just so many options, but what we look at, what's really important for us, whether it be futures, forex, or stock, stocks, comes down to what, how much capital you've got to start with. If you said to me, Ray, I've got $100,000 to start with, I'd say go and invest at least 90,000. Maybe put away 10,000 getting ready, but start on a micro with say $1,000, okay? Cut your teeth, build your confidence and your competence on a small account. So it comes down to the market you're gonna trade with how much capital you have. For an example, with stocks, with the um, patent trading rules, you need 25,000. Uh, so this is where the uh, futures or Forex markets uh, are a great alternative. And you get to know the personality and there's no penny stocks. Stay away from the penny stocks. Does the market have, um, does the market trend have a good daily range? We want the waves. Does it have a good daily trading volume? I'm really looking for markets that have got 50, 80,000 contracts a day or better, which is the majority of the markets we look at. We then consider the best hours, the chart times, that is after hours, you're going to be trading a lower time frame. The best strategies, well, I've already mentioned that the ones you really want to start with, the number ones are 2B, maybe the 34B, and then targets and stops, that's easy. So in the members area, you'll find this, and you've got so many options here and so many different markets that you can look at. And these are the micros, the MES, the NQ, uh, and these are 10% of the value. So the ES, rather than 6,000, you start off with only um, uh, 600. The NQ rather than 10,000, uh, and I know traders are saying, you don't need 10,000 to trade it, but you do if you're being conservative with your entries and your approach, okay? Yes, you can go and scalp the crap out of these markets with less money, but my job's to keep you in the business. So rather than 10,000, and by the way, you can get it going for you know 700, uh, it just means you're trading a lower time frame. Okay, so there's lots of options. Uh, then if we look at this one here, and this is in that folder, this is the Ninja Trader, and this is not a recommendation to use Ninja Trader as brokers, I am broker neutral, but Ninja Trader have got a great trading platform and their commissions are, are very, very good. They're a USA regulated broker um, and some of the best rates in the business. I mean, there's other options. I have to mention AMPS, this trade station, of course, and lots of others. But as you can see here, the point I just wanted to point out, there are besides stocks, a ton of options, nearly three pages of them, okay? So there's lots of things there, but become a specialist. You only wanna be trading a maximum of a couple of markets, a bird in the hands, better than two in the bush. Like, you know, I love, the Texas tea, the black gold and things like that. Okay, so, um, you know, you've got some fantastic markets there. So this PowerPoint, and if you remember, of course, in the coaching sessions, we talk a lot about the markets and uh, why a certain market, when it rolls over, etc. And of course, the market comes down to then the tick size or our stop loss size, which then comes down to how much capital you need. Now, there's always a lot of confusion about intraday margins and maintenance margins. For an example, you'll see here, I'm saying you only need to have, let's take the two tick, 5,000. But it's showing here with your broker, you need 12 and a half. Now, what that means is if you're holding your positions overnight, you need those sorts of margins. But if you close any open positions by 3.45 Central Standard Time, 
uh, every day and you don't op them, um, open a new one until 5 p.m. Central Standard Time when the market reopens an hour and 15 minutes later, you can trade with these sorts of margins. If you're holding overnight positions, your broker requires, if you like, a higher level of security because in the end, we're really trading here on margin. We're, we're borrowing from them to a degree, okay? so. You've, as, as day traders and scalpers, we need to close our any open positions by 345. And we do that anyway. Now, if you don't have sufficient a number or funds in your account, sorry, the broker will usually close your account automatically and charge your fee for that. Not close your account, but close your position. Okay, so that's important. And it's easy when you understand that. And for new potential traders, you might be going, and I remember when I started 27 years ago, and I started in options, and that was confusing. Um, wow, how, how do I understand? Am I ever going to pick this up? Traders, you have what I call aha. Now I get it. Okay, it's not rocket science. It really isn't. And once you go through it um, two or three times, it, aha, now I get it. Let's now move on to one of the really important factors here is then because everyone always talks about how much money you can make. But then they're not talking to you about your trading plan and how and part of it is how many, actually it's not how many trades, it's how many trades a day is, um, I must change that there on, on the uploaded PowerPoint, but how many trades a day? And I, you heard me talk before about, we really wanna focus on ticks or, or, or uh, points rather than the dollars. Some traders get, and as I said, it throws them off. Now this then, and we'll come back to this in a moment, this really comes down to your trading plan. You know, winning traders are willing to do the things that losing traders won't do. And traders, I can tell you right now, it's this that I can tell a trader if it's going to be, end up being massively successful. I really can by their commitment to their trading plan and how articulate they are, um, whether they're keeping their, their journal. All of this is not rocket science, it truly isn't. And this is not a business of intellect, it's about a discipline of patience and discipline, okay? But it is a business. Now, what I provide you is, and let me give you some here, is that in uh, four members, you will find sample trading plans. There's a whole heap of them. This is actually one I've just removed our member's name off this. Okay, so this is one of our members, one of his trading, or not one of, not one of his, but his trading plan. And there's a whole range of different plans and you can keep them very, very simple. I mean, you, you don't have to make it war and peace and all that sort of thing. And your, your trading plan will also come down a lot to the market that you're trading what your daily target is. For an example, I was just talking to you about the, or the 16 tick down here, sorry, the 12 tick. Remember I mentioned you needed $1,000 in your account? Well, with that particular um, trade, if you're using what we call the super scalper, uh, which really makes your entries quite conservative, you need, that's $18 per trade you're risking, if you're following my rules. Now down here, uh, for that you may remember, I said that $50 a day is realistic. And $50 a day there, that's uh, three seven step trades a day. Or four five step trades a day, just being conservative with the size of the move, okay? Now there, I can't remember exactly what it was, but I just thought it was important that I show you this there that, with that one, uh, what do we say? $1,000 we needed, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, and $50 a day. Uh, traders, that comes to, I'm up to my 10 grand a week in 18 weeks. So what's my business plan then? Well, I really wanna look at executing three golden three Bs a day, okay? Now, you're gonna have losses, and this is where this next calculator comes in in a moment. But in the meantime, and once you understand the setups and the targets, you must then start to put together 
a trading plan. Now, less than 10% of traders are successful in the markets. I honestly don't know of a trader that, and I've had trained over 10,000 traders now, and I've got a core of professional traders that trade full time. And most of you know, I run a live trading room uh, three sessions a week and live coaching rooms uh, a couple of sessions a week. And the pro traders that I work with are uh, all have trading plans. Now, they'll vary to the in depth, that depends on your personality. You've gotta have a plan. Now, part of that plan traders comes down to really how many trades a day do you expect to have? Because say if you're expecting to have all, you know, 90% winners and all of a sudden you find you've got to start executing uh, six or plus more trades a day, it helps you to understand realistically on your win-loss ratio, how many trades a day. So what we've got here is a calculator for this. And one of my members, Raymond, who's um, just a, a great trader with us, a really top guy, um, he put together this um, going back some time ago. And actually, where it, where is this here? And I've actually included um, here just an email that he sent in. So we prepared this a couple of years ago now. When was it? Back in, well, nearly a couple of years ago now. Uh, just um, part of his journey uh, and how we put this together. And rather than thinking in dollars, but the bottom line with this is we then, it allows us traders to then start to calculate realistically how many trades a day based upon my win-loss ratio. So. Let's just say on the ES. You may remember traders that on the ES, uh, we were looking at um, $5,000 required, okay? So with this calculator, you put the tick value of the market that you're trading. So on ES, it's $12.50 on the big contract. And actually, let's start with the micro to begin with. The micro is 10% of that, it's $1.25. Your commission, on the micro, typically uh, with NinjaTrader, it's more competitive, but let's just say with TradeStation, it's around, I think a dollar 35 or something like that, okay? Now, let's say there, we're going with an eight tick stop, okay? So we've got an eight tick stop, which is $10. And we've got an eight tick target, okay? Let's lower our win ratio to say, let's say we're a new trader, and we only get a 70% win ratio, okay? And a 30% loss ratio. Now over here, we're after $20 a day. That's what we're after, $20 a day. Uh, uh, we're losing 30% of our trades with less our commissions. We're after 20 a day, and I need to execute eight 34 Bs or two Bs a day. Now, what I might then do is say, okay, let's lower our target to six ticks, okay? Let's lower our target to six ticks, maybe with an eight tick stop, you can see there the effects that will have. Uh, what if we then said, okay, I'm gonna go for, I know I can average 75% and here, how many trades a day then will that mean? So on average, I'm gonna have a larger stop loss have a target of that, 11 trades a day. Now, if I then lower my stop loss, now for, for members, how you lower your stop loss is by using the rule of one for your entry rather than the super scalper, okay? So if you use the rule of one entry, okay, remember you can only do that when you've got a nice trending market and you've got trending EMAs, you can have a smaller stop loss. You'll get that down to six ticks, you only need to have eight trades a day. Now, you then go and get, say, and you're only solely trading two Bs and you're right on the ball, meaning here, you know, you're, you're taking every trade, you're uh, uh, you're not trading right at a pivot or a, or a swing, et cetera. I only need to execute six trades a day. Now, what about then when we get to the big contract? Right, we now get up to the big contract. So in here, you're going to put the tick value of whatever market you're trading. Here, 
my commission's going to be say $4.50. Okay, uh, here, my stop loss, let's go back to the eight tick stop loss. Let's do that. Now, uh, here, let's go and cut back our average target. Let's be conservative, okay? And this is a little low, but let's say 70, 30. And let's just say here, my average daily target is 200 a day. On a 70% win loss ratio, a larger stop loss than my average target, I need to execute 11, 11 2 Bs or 34 Bs a day. Extremely realistic. Let me do one more. So let's consider this market, which I love this market. I love, uh, I love the currency futures because they, they trend beautifully. And the currency futures is a contract that the CME put together. It basically models what's happening on the Forex market. Okay, uh, but on the 6E, it's $6.25 a tick. Now what that means is, and let's be conservative here and say you go for the eight tick here. What that means is that if I've got a risk, if I'm using what we call the super scalper for my entry, which is a conservative way of entering, I'm gonna have a $50 risk per trade. So I need two and a half thousand dollars, okay, uh, in my account. So let's now go back. Uh, so two and a half thousand, and I'm after, let's just be conservative for a moment, $100 a day. That's my target. So let's just say here that um, my tick value, that's each price moving, is worth $6.25. My commission on that, to be exact, with um, NinjaTrader, it's uh, $4.72, but let's just say an average. I know TradeStation's a little more, um, but let's just say $5 on average. Okay, so here, um, say if we've got a stop loss here of eight ticks, which is what we were looking at there. Let me just confirm that so we so it's consistent what you're looking at. Eight tick stop loss, yes. Okay, and let's just say we're going for an average of six ticks per trade. Now over here, I mentioned we are only going for $100. Now, here, if I'm only going for six ticks um, uh, per trade net profit and 100 a day, I would need to execute, and this is allowing for any losses as well, and commissions, which so many traders don't allow their commission, 16 trades a day. Now, by the way, just right now, what the heck? Well, let's just do this for a moment because this is very important we look at the reality of trading. So if we look at uh, the Euro, let me just start change charts here. Uh, I know why that one was not giving me the information. I was on the wrong one before. So let me just start uh, do this. No wonder I couldn't have to reset the charts. So let's just go here uh, to, and let's just take, this is the Euro right now. Now, at the time of day that I'm recording this, so let me just put this little clock here. And yes, this is included, by the way. So um, the indicators, uh, I don't charge for indicators. And where are we here? Toolbox, it's toolbar. So this just tells you what the time is here when it comes up. So this is 2.35 Central Standard Time AM. Now, uh, each one of these movements here is worth one tick. Okay, so with that one here, this is a rule of one entry. You had a rule of one entry there. So that was, now you're not gonna be into the close of the second candle, by the way. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. That's your break even, by the way. Now, if we look at this, this is a good example. So there you only picked up a couple of ticks. You got your six here. You've got, and there you had a loss. Uh, oh, hang on, that's a 2BD. I won't go into that now, but you may or may not have taken. If you did, that was a loss, but that was another beautiful 2B just there. Now, this is good to show you this because we avoid the market like the plague when we are sideways. See the cloud? We want to be trading when we've got the cloud happening, okay? So when we don't have the cloud, you are in chop. But one thing I want to show you here with this market is this. I want to just drop down the time frame. 
is that I've dropped down to the one tick, which means we can trade with a smaller account. We've got smaller risk and we can go for just five to six ticks profits each time. Okay, uh, it's, all, it's, it's, yeah, and it's tradable like this uh, really 90% of the time. But where this is relevant, getting back to this, how is this relevant? Well, it's all relevant traders based upon uh, the account size and what you're after per day. So there are a few have got a lower time frame. I've only got a six tick stop on that one tick, by the way. Uh, here, I only need to execute 10 trades a day. And that was over, we had about four or five trades then in 20 minutes or so. Okay, how, how long was that? I'm just, uh, where where is that? Let me go back to the two tick and I just wanna show you this. Okay, let's just go to this here. You had, uh, that was in 21, that was in 15 minutes. You had one, two, three, four uh, in 15 minutes. Okay, now, so, and that's on the two tick for higher time frame. So I'm just being very realistic with this. So getting back to this, you enter the tick value, the commission, what your stop loss is, what your daily target is. Now, I would say realistically, 125 a day is realistic. Okay, with that mark, extremely realistic. Okay, and 75% win loss ratio is extremely realistic. But this is where you can tailor then your trading plan. So what this tells you when you're putting your plan together, on average, you need to allow nine trades a day. That then comes down to the paperwork that we use, that we then tick off for each trade and result as we go along. And there's a very important reason for this. Traders, I believe, I truly believe that you need to be trading. And I'm always talking to my members about trading with science. Yeah, I close that PowerPoint down, I must have. Let me just open this one up, back up here. And that is um, Dr. Uh, Andrew Huberman, uh, who I follow very closely. And I study the science of learning, neuro-linguistics, speed learning, etc. And by tracking your results live as you're trading, you and every time you tick it off, this may sound a bit way out there for some of you, but scientifically now, what it actually does, it releases a chemical called dopamine in the system. And dopamine is also known as the feel good drug. And by keeping goals and ticking goals off, for an example, having a checklist and ticking them off as you get things during, done during the day, you know, you feel good about it. You look at it and you think, yeah, I'm getting all of these things done. What you're actually doing is you're getting a shot of dopamine in the system. That's what that does. And so there's science behind a lot of these things that I'm showing you, which you may not realize why I'm doing it or why we do it, because I really study that. You know, I'm a researcher and what's important is accelerated strategies for mastering the art of day trading. Now, moving right along. With everything I've been showing you, how to use the calculator, um, uh, the markets to trade, etc., is that you've got to master your mind. You've got to have that trading plan. Now, what I've done for you, I employed a, uh, or hired, I didn't employ, I hired a hypnotherapist, hypnotherapist to put together a number of hypnotherapy sessions as well, as well as a ton of other items that I've got in the folders on my Google Drive. So some essential ones I want you to go and, and explore if you're a member or when you become a member. Four strategies for, and by the way, you'll find them. Where is it here? So when you go into the members area, as this has been described, it's got all your indicators in there for different trading platforms and different setups. As members describe this, it is a gold mine. If anything, you've got to be careful you don't feel overwhelmed when you start to go into each one. But I've circled some of these folders and I can't get down, I couldn't fit them all in. And there's some down here that I want you to go into these folders like Mark Douglas, the Discipline Trader, Jim Rowan, Dr. Andrew Huberman, The Science of Learning. So MP3 soundtracks. Uh, so I want you to go and explore, explore those. So I've 
run trading psychology webinars, NLP, which I've been studying since my 20s, I'm 62 now, and I'm not a practitioner by the way, but I probably some might say as good as, um, but really all about learning and the psychology of learning, etc. Make sure you start working on that. For an example, four strategies of mastering your mind. You've got to work on this. Um, that, and then there I've got Paul McKenna CD. There's just a ton of stuff there, soundtracks and, and a whole lot of other goodies that I refer you to. Because traders, you've got to have what we call a growth mindset. There's um, uh, a great book by Carol Dweck called Mindset. And she talks about the two types of mindsets. You've got what we call those with a fixed mindset and those with what we call uh, a growth mindset. The fixed mindset are probably the people who've already hung up and left watching this session. Okay, oh, you can't do this, gave that a go. They've got, you know, and most people just haven't been taught how to trade correctly, number one. That's the biggest challenge. Um, and they haven't been shared with what I've been, they're not taught the things I'm showing you here because it doesn't make trading look as attractive. But hey, what an opportunity here, as you can see, if you do it correctly. But the growth mindset person is, gee, I can see the potential here. It doesn't mean you don't verify an idea, but you at least be open-minded to the possibility. You can then verify it. Okay, so it's important that we work, we, you know, as the late Jim Rowan used to know, it was actually Zig Ziglar that said this many years ago. We all suffer from a hardening of the attitudes. We've got to give ourselves a regular checkup from the neck up, and it's really true. And so truly 90% of trading, 90% is psychology, 5% is management, money management, and only 5% is the strategy you trade because the head stuff you've got to get right. So there's a ton of stuff on my Google Drive there, as I mentioned. Now, last of all, I just want to quickly mention here about the strategies. And this is where the science of learning comes down. And if you've watched my webinars or if you're already a member, you hear me talk about the Goldilocks rule. Not too easy, not too hard, just right. And what's really important is the foundation of mastery lies simplicity, doing just a few things really well. And there's all sorts of studies now that point out that multitasking is not effective as what a lot of people thought it was. Now, Linda Rashke has uh, uh, been a trader for many, many years, very well respected in the funds management business and the education business. And as Linda says here, let me say, uh, let me also say the majority of professional S&P traders, and it doesn't matter what you're trading, whether it be part-time or full-time, you're a pro if you're there for an income, I know tend to specialize in just one pattern or trade just one style. This is definitely a market where over-trading can be a temptation. And this goes across the board traders. It doesn't matter what you're trading, currency futures, stocks, et cetera, uh, Forex, over-trading. As she continues to say, intellect has nothing to do with your ability as a trader. Success is not a function of how smart you are, how much you've applied yourself academically. This is hard to accept in a society that puts a premium on intellect. And this is one of the challenges that I can sometimes have with newer traders or traders that are looking or considering trading, they have the attitude, I could never do this, I could never learn this. Well, you can if you're committed. If you're truly committed, you can. So on the strategies that we look at, and most of you are aware You've probably seen some of my videos. We'll talk about a ton of different strategies. It's and the reason we have different strategies. Some are counter trend strategies. Some are changing trend. Some are using a ranging market. Some are breakouts, or, or trend continuations. So we've got a range of different strategies. But you become a specialist. You focus on only one or two, and you build from there. Now, for an example, hard charts combination of HA and Rinko charts I put together is a whole trading methodology in itself. So you start with just one or two, and this is further uh, really um, supported by the late Mark Douglas. 
if you haven't already bought his book, and I've got the ebook in my Google Drive for members, but The Disciplined Trader, one of the, it's probably the number one book, I think, out of the hundreds of books that I've got in my library for day trading. And um, it's about winning attitudes. And he talks a lot about how to master the art of trading. What he says here, uh, what you want to do is become an expert at just one particular pattern. Pattern, notice that, that repeats itself with some degree of frequency. Traders, this is the critical part, is you want to trade patterns. Patterns repeat in the market each and every day. And that's what we're really looking for. Do you know when I looked at the chart before it was live and I said, there's a 34B, 2B, um, they're just patterns. And that's something about the human brain is we learn patterns very, very simply. Now, as he says here, become an expert, use one simple trading system, identifies a pattern, preferably one that is me me mechanical, and really visual, be working with a visual representation. Your objective is to understand completely every aspect of the system, all the relationships between the components and its potential to produce. In the meantime, it's important to avoid all other possibilities and information. In other words, don't feel tempted because of boredom of impulse trades or looking at other things. Become, who owns the big dollars when it's say medicine? Is it the general practitioner or is it the specialist, the brain surgeon, the uh, the uh, the heart specialist or whatever? Of course, it's a specialist. Become a specialist. But it also makes trading and mastering the art so much easier. And so this is what you want to be doing. We want to be trading in the direction of the higher time frame. And this is what the 34B and the 2B is doing. We're trading in the direction of the higher time frame. Now, eventually, you can start to trade your counter trend trades or your changing market direction if you wish. However, um, uh, you know, just your 34Bs. Now, that chart there is over, uh, here's another example, over 30 minutes or so. One, two, three, four. You had four trades, uh, four trades there just in that time, okay? Now, that one there would have rolled into that one, by the way. So there are three winners. Now, once again, it's about learning how to identify a trend. It ain't rocket science traders. It's about trading with the trend. And now thanks to the tools we've got here and understanding like there, the pivot, understanding the open, high, low and close and how major moving averages work. And as I've mentioned, um, I've discovered that there's this combination of time frames that you use, chart time frames to set up your charts. So from this chart to this chart, there's a simple formula that I use and guess what? You get multiple setups. You get the same setup on multiple time frames. It's it's exciting. It's fascinating. So it's important. So you want to avoid most of these. Uh, you need to eventually know what they'll do. Now, for an example, you need to understand what divergence is. And the reason you need to understand divergence because divergence will usually identify a change in market direction. So if you're trading with the trend and you've got a major divergence trade here coming down against you, I don't want to stand in front of that. It's going to run me over. It's going to change market direction. So you're then going to wait for then the trend to recontinue one way or another. So I don't want to make it sound too simple because you've still got to understand uh, what counter trend trades are and what divergence is and changing trend. But I want you to remember the term, do I have a fanning of the EMAs? And that's what we call this trade. It's this is fanning where your EMAs are starting to fan. Now this, uh, we've gone well over an hour uh, in this session, but I think it was necessary to really learn how to use the calculators, uh, make it realistic. Now, remember the market's going to be here next week, next month, next year. As you build confidence, you can increase your targets, okay? So is $500 a day realistic on the ES and CL? Absolutely. 
but notice I didn't put that in, okay? Because I want you to, to really start small, think big, you can get to that, but start small and big at the same time and grow from there. But start on this, so where you end up traders in 12 months time really depends on the actions that you undertake today. Now, I've also included in the folder for members, this is a called the Million Dollar Personal Success Plan I got from um, uh, uh, SMI many, many years ago. I think I was 22 or 23, I did a course with them. And gee whiz, that's 40 years ago, crumbs, how time flies. And I've still got it framed here on my bookshelf today, 40 years later. And I've given, you've got a copy of it in the folder. And here it really sums up everything that we've been talking about here. Crystallize your thinking, develop your plan, develop a sincere desire for what you want, build confidence and you build confidence and competence by starting small, attending the live trading room, attending the coaching sessions, or if the hours don't work for you, watching the recordings. Remember all my sessions are, record, are recorded. And to just really develop that determination, I am going to do this. In other words, become committed. So traders, you can do this. You can do this. There is an incredible opportunity for day traders here, irrespective of your income. If you're a young gun, as I said, uh, like say G-Man at SMB Capital and many others, five to 10 million a year. This is the true potential, but you've got to have that foundation. You've got to start with your trading plan and the right education. So traders, uh, thank you very much for watching. I uh, hope you uh, picked up a lot out of this and I'll see you in the coaching sessions. Thank you traders.